It's cataractcoach.com. We have the cataract removed from the side. The capsule bag is filled with viscoelastic, ready for the new eye well to go in. Watch carefully. Delivering the lens. Boom! It just shoots out like that. Why? Well, the lens was misloaded. There was not enough viscoelastic placed into the injector. So as a result, the lens did not glide smoothly down the barrel of the injector. Instead, it shot out abruptly. So this was an uh, issue with the technician and not putting enough viscoelastic into the injector system to lubricate it. Fortunately, we reacted very quickly and were able to get the lens in the capsule bag without having any issues or damage. So now we're centering up the lens here, removing the viscoelastic, and it looks pretty good. Now, if you look at the center optic of the lens, there's a faint little mark there, and that's likely some opacity or fracture within the acrylic material of the lens. And that happened as it got forced down the barrel of the injector tip. So again, carefully moving viscoelastic, we'll try to go under that IOL and remove that, but I'm pretty sure that piece there, that opacity is within the lens itself. So here, sealing the incision, I'm looking carefully, now, if you look, you'll also notice that there's a small little piece of lens cortex that's present. So, removing any viscoelastic that remains, the caps rexus looks good. It overlaps the optic 360. We're happy about that. And we're sealing up the incision. Now, the question is, what about that line there? Can we do anything about it? Are we sure it's on the optic itself, that line? There it is. Is it in the optic or is it behind the lens? Hmm, well, one way to know for sure is to go inside the eye and try to aspirate there. I know convincingly that it's within the optic material itself, within the acrylic. But just to be sure, we'll go underneath here, lift up the optic, and you can see we can vacuum there. And now that's, that's definitely inside the lens material. That's not going to go anywhere. And now when we think we're done, look, there's a little piece of cortex near the haptic optic junction another little opacity there so again should we leave that no i don't think we should get it so let's go underneath here again lift up and get that little last piece there it is that's better so very important you must make sure that all your team members especially your technicians are on board and understand how to load the lens appropriately by the manufacturer's recommendations and also for the surgeons, be sure that you can react in time. You never know what's going to happen during the surgery. And you have to be able to appropriately react to be able to get the lens in the eye safely, even if it shoots out the injector in a relatively fast and uncontrolled manner. Thank you for watching.